Hey, good morning, Gators. How we doing today? All right, I wanted to bring to you guys my uh, typical daily warm up. Um, this is what I would do before any of the other workouts I, uh, I post and share with you. Some days, too, depending on how my body's feeling, I'll use this as my like active recovery workout or uh, even just a, a, a nice little cool down. All right, so I'm going to take you through a couple different exercises here. And um, again, ideally, I would use this to get your body primed and ready to go before you start your movement for the day. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna go through is called a wall squat. It looks a little weird from the start as you are face to face with a wall, but the wall forces you to stay in good position and it benefits your technique. All right, so I will approach a wall right here. I'm gonna get as close as I can to the wall. Palms are gonna be facing it. And from here, I'm gonna do a squat nice and low and back up. This helps me find the center point in my foot so I'm not leaning too far on my toes or back on my heels. Again, creates an excellent way to better your technique on your squats. So that's a wall squat. I would typically do three sets of 10 repetitions of that to start. Second exercise I go through is a Cossack squat. This is great for ankle, hip, and knee mobility. Um, and I find that to be pretty important as I get older. So I'll stand in a pretty neutral stance here. I'm gonna step to one side. As I step, I'm gonna lean into that leg and then I'm gonna turn the opposing foot up towards the sky right here, trying to get as low as I can, keeping my foot flat on the ground. Back up to center, and then I go back out. Same thing there. Typically, I would do three sets of five repetitions on each leg. All right, if I was going to the other leg, I might move over and step out, lean into that leg, turn the opposite toe up, keep my foot flat on the ground. All right, like I said, an excellent way to increase ankle mobility. The third exercise I like to go through, take a broomstick, all right, took the broom off, uh, and this is called a shoulder dislocate. So I'm gonna go with a wide grip here, and nice and slow, I'm going to rotate the broomstick up and over my head. Again, this is excellent for shoulder mobility, and I have found this has helped my shoulders immensely. So I would do about three sets of 10 repetitions with this exercise, all right? Typically, I do those three exercises, wall squat, Cossack squat, shoulder dislocate, in circuit fashion. So I go from one to the other to the final one for 10 reps, and then I would cycle back through that two more times. The other two exercises I really enjoy uh, to kind of start off my workout or for an active recovery day. First one, this would be a second uh, circuit here, is called a shin box. So I'm going to sit down on the ground. Both my feet are going to be pointed towards the same direction. So right now they're pointed to the left. Sitting still, hands up, I can make a grip, put my hands over my head. All I'm going to do is rotate so that my legs and feet are an exact mirror, but on the opposite side. Come back. Again, this is excellent for hip mobility. Nice little stretch here that you can feel. All right, and I would do three sets of 10 with this. After that, I go to what's called a scorpion. All right, and this is primarily for my lower back. I'm gonna tee out my arms. All right, I'm gonna keep my trunk glued to the mat, and I'm gonna just high leg, one leg up and over, nice and slow. Hold for a second, bring it back. Same thing, other side. And here, I would typically go five reps each leg. Whatever you do on one side though, make sure you do it on the other. That yoga philosophy of staying balanced and equal. Regardless, that's my warm up or my active recovery 
uh, workout for days that I want to take it a little bit easier on the body. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Sun's out today. Get out there. Enjoy it. Be well.